want to give a shout out to everyone that asked for Tinny's Picnic Set. Thanks for the request and just craft it. Start by getting the printables from our blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com. We use a nice glossy photo paper, but a cardstock will work also. There are several printable options, but this one has six paper trays, four food container labels, one Georgia's Hot Chicken sign, and one menu. With this menu, be sure to cut it out as one piece. With the menu, you first want to score right in the center. This divides the inside of the menu from the outside of the menu. Now you can fold it in half and glue it together. Once it's glued, you can score the center line again, fold it over, and now you have your menu. A front, a back, and an inside. Ooh! To make the chicken, use a clay of your choice. You can use a polymer clay, or you can use a model magic. With polymer clay, you're going to need to bake it, and with model magic, you'll have to let it air dry overnight. We're shaping ours to look like the American Girl chicken thigh that comes in Tinny's picnic set. Just play with your clay and shape it until you like how it looks for the piece you're making. You can also make chicken legs or a chicken breast. Then get a piece of aluminum foil, wad it up, and then texture your chicken with it. Now take tiny pieces of your clay, wad it up into a ball, and then pitch it flat to shape your pickles. Make several of these because you're going to top your chicken with them. You can also use these for a side item by making deep fried pickles. Just use the same process we did for our onion rings. Tinny's Picnic Set also comes with a watermelon wedge. We're going to make watermelon slices out of our clay, we're going to shape it, using our tabletop as a guide on one side, and rotate it until you like the shape of all the sides. When your clay is ready, you can paint your food pieces. For the watermelon, we used red with a drop of pink. For the chicken, we used brown with a drop of orange. Once all the paint is dry, you can seal the pieces and then place them in the paper trays that are part of the printables. Don't forget to add the pickles. For the watermelon seeds, we used a toothpick, dipped it in black paint, and painted the seeds on very carefully. For the picnic sides, we're using these little paint pots. These are going to be the containers that we put the sides in, and since they're clear, we're going to paint them white. If you don't have these, look around the house. You probably have some tops that are about the same size. All you have to do is glue on the label, and you have your sides containers. So cute! For the first side, we're going to make mac and cheese. We're making it the same way we did in our craft mac and cheese video, using yellow perler beads and yellow puffy paint. If you don't have a yellow puffy paint, you can use a white glue and a yellow paint mixed together and you'll get the same effect. Mix around your little perler beads to get the perfect mac and cheese side dish. Yummy! Cheesy! Print out your picnic takeout box on brown cardstock, and when you cut it out, make sure to leave all the tabs on. You don't want to cut them off. They're all important. Once you've scored on all the lines, then you can bend your tabs. For the handle part, you want to bend all your tabs inward. That way they're ready to go when you need to glue it in place. Only glue the center part together for now, and leave all the tabs unglued. Now set this part aside while we work on the box of the takeout container. Again, score on all the lines and then fold all the tabs. This way they're ready to be glued into place once we start putting the box together. Now take your printable, flip it over, and then fold up all four sides of the box. Glue these four small tabs to the inside of the box this will give you the shape of the box and hold it together. Now you can add glue to all the tabs that are hanging out and you can fold them inside to the box. It looked like a crazy printable, but it's actually pretty easy to put together. All these extra tabs make the box really sturdy. 
Now you're ready to add the handle to the box. But wait, don't glue it into place before you cut out the hole so the dolls can carry it. Once you have your handle cut out, then you can add glue to the bottom of the handle printable and the sides and stick it right into the box. Your carrier is now complete. It's sturdy and it's so cute. And just for fun, we have this extra printable. We're just gonna glue it to a jumbo craft stick or popsicle stick and we're gonna stick it outside in front of the picnic area. Super cute for a photo shoot. Now grab your sweet tea that you made from our previous craft Add it to the picnic set and your dolls are ready to feast. It looks so good. Give us a thumbs up if you want us to show you how we made this creamy potato salad. Leave us a comment and tell us your favorite picnic food. And subscribe to become an AGI crafter.